This is the amp that defined modern metal. PV has electrified the riffs of everyone from the working musician to artists like Ted Nugent, Machine Head, and Bullet For My Valentine. It actually started an entire new genre of music. The 6505 Plus is a marvel of PV patents. From resonance and presence, you can basically amplify a pin drop into an atom bomb at the other end of it. To the crunch channel. It will kick your ass. It produces a, a roar that words don't describe. PV Electronics is one of the largest audio equipment manufacturers in the world. You'd be hard pressed to find a country that we're not in. Hartley PV, the man <laughs> behind the brand, has been designing amplifiers for more than 50 years and holds over 180 global patents. We build amps for the artist. We build amps for a particular genre. Inside the wood housing of the 6505 Plus is the steel chassis which holds the main circuit board, the 10 vacuum tubes, and all the other electronic components. We've used somewhere in the neighborhood of a, a million pounds of cold rolled steel a year. A million pounds is heavier than six stealth bombers. It goes through a punch press, punches all the holes in it. A durable powder coat is sprayed on. It goes on in a powder form. It sticks to the product. And once it heats up, it liquefies. And then when it cools off, it hardens and becomes a coating. Intense ultraviolet light bonds the ink to the metal. And we'll silk screen on any logos, wording, or anything onto the chassis. An 80-ton brake press folds the metal. And it'll actually form the box that the circuit board will fit into. While the chassis waits for final assembly, the electronics are underway, starting with the circuit board and its unique layout. And it's laid out in such a manner that we can continually amplify gain stage over gain stage over gain stage. In guitar amp lingo, gain equals distortion. The massive amount of distortion is what makes this amp so sought after. The circuit board is laid out using surface mount technology, starting with the axial components. Next are the radial components. And finally, the larger pieces are installed by hand. Axial leaded components. It's a component that uh, the legs stick out of the ends like an axle on a car. As they're inserted, the ends are folded down. We have programs, and the programs tell us where to put the parts in the right order. The trick is to make sure all the parts point the right way and sit on the board properly. So I have to make sure that my direction parts is going right. A radial machine inserts the radial components. And the radial component, the leads stick out of the bottom of the part. After this, larger components are put in by hand. They could be potentiometers, tube sockets, input jacks, output jacks, switches. Next, the boards are inspected. This is just to make sure that everything is in its place and in the right direction. Flux is added to the bottom of the board to enable soldering in the wave solder machine. Then the preheater heats the flux so it stays up against the parts. Heat is gradually increased over the three preheaters, and then the circuit board will skim over a vat of molten lead to create the solder connections. Our solder temperature is about 490 degrees, and we have about 1,400 pounds of solder in the vat at an even time. At the end of the solder machine, the board gets another once-over before heading to assembly. Right now, the inside is ready for the outside cabinet. It's made of Baltic birch. We get it in in uh, sheets, and then it's loaded into a machine that's called a panel saw. The wood sheets are cut to size and then routed. Finished pieces move on to cabinet assembly. I put the glue on the end of these before I put them in the machine. The pieces are glued and stapled together. They got to be loaded right or all these holes got to match. Cleats are added to support the front panel. If these are not in it right, then when they get back there, it won't let it fit. So everything has to be right. The cabinets go on to be painted and covered in vinyl. 
the material that we call a Tolex. It's real durable. Then it's on to the final assembly area. In the last 48 years at PV, there has been millions and millions of vacuum tubes used. This unit has 10 vacuum tubes in total, four power amp tubes, and six preamp tubes. It's the preamps that give it the incredible gain. The 6505 has more gain than just about any other mass-produced guitar amplifier on the planet. Each vacuum tube creates what's called a gain stage. When you have a gain stage that's multiplied by another gain stage, you can basically amplify a pin drop into an atom bomb at the other end of it. You can vary the gain. The clean channel has a little gain, the super lead is the shred channel, and the crunch is something in between called the brown sound. The brown sound is a famous rock and roll tone that many guitar players try to emulate. Used by all types of guitarists, it holds a special spot for the heavy metal musician. It actually started an entire new genre of music. The sound literally became the sound of modern metal. One last stop before this amp goes on to make metal history. It'll then go into a sound booth where Ollie will inspect the amplifier. Ollie's day job is a guitarist's dream. He tests out every single feature. You can do anything you want to do with 6505 plus. Any style, any genre, it's, it's, it's a versatile amp. He starts with the rhythm channel to test the resonance and presence. Resonance and presence are patented PV features. Resonance adds some lows to the frequency. And presence adds highs to the frequency. tries out the crunch channel. Then I go to the crunch channel, which is a little bit edgier, a little dirtier. Then it's the lead channel, EQ, effects, tube noise. He looks at it, raps on it, gives it his seal of approval. Uh, I recommend it to professional musicians, semi-professional. Um, it's, it's just um, one of the, my favorite amps. This is a pass. Aimed at the hard rock and heavy metal crowd, the 6505 Plus delivers. At the end of the day, a really loud amp, ton of distortion, which makes crystal clean, sweet guitar sounds. Now it's out the door to a world famous musician or an aspiring rock star like a young Hartley Peavy. It produces a, a roar that words don't describe. It is an ass-kicking amplifier. <laughs>